Hi guys, welcome to Melissa Loves Orchids. Today, I just wanted to let you in on <laughs> rainy day shenanigans, I guess. So today um, was a very soggy rainy day. There was a clearing and an opportunity and I stepped out for a minute and I found some rescue fowls. So they were half price and I said, okay, might as well. I got some pots and I am uh, therapizing myself. So. I already did the first one. I cleaned her up, cleaned up the roots, repotted her, that was nice. I have four more to go. And this one, and I usually don't do this inside, I do it outside, but this one I picked up because it has the same modeling in the leaves that my favorite one that's a scented fowl has. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that this is the one that um, has a scent. So I see pretty good roots. I'm gonna clean her up. And I'm going to continue to do my orchid therapy. I'm soaking my media. I have this for the bottom of the pot. Where's, these are the pots that I found at Home Depot. Oh, this one's banged up. It's okay. It's okay. Look how pretty. 247 I think they were. So, time to work. So after I washed her off, this is what I end up with, ended up with. Not awesome, awesome roots, but I guess a decent amount for being um, in the clearance section. They didn't cut the stem all the way down, but I'm not gonna reopen it because it's already dry. I see a new root. Two new roots, three new roots. So obviously the flower has some kind of um, fuchsia color, red color, but I love the model leaves. So now I'm gonna pot her up, right? And here. And I need both hands, so I will get right back. So this is the original one that I had with the leaves that I like. The one that smells terrific, the one that started me on this foul fever. And then this is the new one. So as you can see, there's a similarity. I'm hoping that when she blooms, she is scented like this one. I am hoping. So she is all potted up. Looking good. Next. All right, so this is the third one. After taking off the plastic sleeve that I can't stand, I give her a good shower. Again, they didn't cut the uh, stem all the way down. It's okay. But see how easy this kind of just comes apart by itself. And you take off all the old moss, at least I do. And I'm seeing good roots. Pretty good. So now before everything overflows, I'm going to turn this off for a minute and I'll be right back. So this is orchid number three, and I'm really happy with how she looks. A lot of good leaves, a lot of good new roots. Look at that, she had two spikes. I wish they were cut down a little lower, but I'm gonna leave them. And now I am going to pot her up in here. So if you're ever stressed out, or anxious about something like maybe summer vacation being over. And yes, I'm making a crazy mess, I think. Summer vacation being over or something like that. Go ahead and get yourself some rescue fowls that you know are probably not going to be doing well if you leave them at the nursery and bring them home with you. That's what I do. Okay, number three is done. Look how nice she looks. Now I'm debating to cut these off or what? I think I should, but I do see the leaves are a little bit special. Are these kind of model too? Oh my goodness. They were so dirty that I didn't even know. But look at those new roots. Nice new pot. So there we go. One, two, three, two more to go. Ha! Ah, yes. Ooh, look at that one. New roots and everything. So relaxing. Leave me in the comments 
your opinion. Do you think this is a pain to do or do you think it is relaxing? You know how I feel about it. But I've heard so many people think that it is a pain to repot and do maintenance. Like I basically take all of these sometimes one by one inside to water them one by one, making sure the crown doesn't get dirty, cleaning off the leaves. And it's so relaxing. So let me know, let me know what you think. All right guys, so we have number four done and clean. Again, I see some markings and if I hit the jackpot, I'm getting three $5 model leaf scented fowls. I think I'm going to, I don't even know what, scream and shout, I guess. Oh my goodness, look at all of these roots. The roots look fantastic, in my opinion growing thick i mean i barely had to cut anything off and now i'm gonna pot her up same deal these pots i found at um home depot and they're not my favorite my favorite are those those are my favorite they are from rf but these are two dollars and 49 cents and they say 5.5 in the sticker is that 5.5 but I love it because they are not like tapered at the bottom, so they are not going to be tipping over because I, I bought them before. But I don't remember them being so cheap. I hope this one fits. Yeah, that'll fit. You like it? What? <laughs> you, you like my orchid? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit what? It's beautiful. But why is like dirt? Are those dirt? are the those are the roots. Now I'm gonna put the bark. No, no. But there are the brown things. Oh, that's an older root. But it's okay. I don't like it because. Yeah. Older. These are the new roots. No, but I don't like the older. Roots. Yeah. Well, it's fine. I have my. I like the bark leaves. already soaking. I don't like the leaves. The leaves are nice, right? Take a look at those leaves. I just like the leaves. Yeah, not, I like the leaves but not too. the root. Let's pot her up. Okay, last and final. So what I had said, see this is the price and then they get their 50% off. I've already told you that though. So I forgot what I was saying. Like, oh, see this here? Usually that means that there's some kind of fuchsia or dark pink in the flowers. So yeah, and be very careful with the little root tips. So I'm gonna be very gentle because you can break them. They're very soft. I'm gonna take all this moss off and show you what she looks like. Okay, she's all cleaned up. I have made a mess in the kitchen, but it's okay, I can't take the bugs. Now is when the sun is coming out. Now is when the sun's coming out, but it's too late, I already did them all. And I said, I'm gonna do like two a day so I can have, you know, therapy every day. Well, I didn't do that. I did them all today. So I'm going to add the bark that I've already cleaned up and put it in there carefully so I don't mess up any of the new root tips. This one I don't see any modeling, but it's okay. Again, $5 for a nice healthy orchid. I can't lose with that. Okay guys, so signing off for today. This is the finished product. These are just rescue fowls. So hopefully you can find a nursery that discounts them after they are bloomed out and they are done and you can find some that are healthy that you can grow inside your house and just repot them and put them in a window or you can keep them outside so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the <laughs> let me know in the comments if you also clean up orchids and rescue them in order to, um, you know, pass the time. And it's just, it's just nice. I like to do it. It's very relaxing for me. So what do you want? Do you want to tell them anything? What? Yeah. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Like and subscribe, please. And let me know in the comments if you like doing these uh, repotting fun projects too. Bye. I will see you next time. <laughs>